Hey, Pop Hearts TV, I'm Heather, and I am here with actor, writer, and star of the upcoming Disney Plus show, Turner and Hooch, Matt Hamilton, is joining me today. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for having me, Heather. I appreciate it. Of course. I'm so excited for this new series on Disney Plus. It's yeah. a reboot um, of the show Turner and Hooch, so it's not a, like a redo or anything like that. It's a reboot. Can you yeah. kind of explain to us what that means and kind of where it leads off from the old series with Tom Hanks from back in the day? Right. So, so it's based on obviously the movie with Tom Hanks and it's a TV show and it's not like a full reboot. It's more of a continuation. Uh, Josh Peck plays Tom Hanks's character's son. And so uh, Tom Hanks' character passes away and Josh is, a, you know, a neat, tidy dude like his dad was and gets saddled with hooch a new hooch and his life is turned upside down and like his dad he's in law enforcement and uh josh in the u.s marshals so he's kind of going to juggle that it captures kind of the same tone and spirit as the movie it's like an action comedy but heavy on the comedy and it's just it's like the movie it's a lot of fun and do you play uh trent who is the senior deputy marshal to scott turner yeah. And um, I got a little bone to pick with you, like no pun intended on that one, but a um, yeah. little bone to pick with you because your yeah. character Trent, um, not only does he seem like a, kind of like a cocky guy, but yeah. he doesn't like dogs. Like who doesn't like dogs? Yeah, that's, hey, you know what? That's a right bone to pick. And yeah. especially <laughs> like, I'm a huge dog guy. I had a dog, like I had multiple dogs growing up, like throughout the years. And I actually had, I put my dog down midway through filming oh. it was like 16 he was 16 years old and uh yeah, two days before i went back after christmas break i had to put him down but it was not it was nice it was like nice therapy to be at work being distracted and having a dog on set mm -hmm. because i was like like i'm a huge dog dude and like my instagram was like littered with coda my dog oh. and so uh predictably it was really tough and you know when when dog gets that old like you have to remember that he's had a great life and yep he was really healthy for most of it but for the last you know five years when he's like you know 11 on it starts creeping your mind like oh god this is going to end soon i don't like this i don't like this and it just and, and it just kind of happened quicker than like he was slowing down and then essentially his kidneys failed and he just couldn't function anymore and it was just like one day it was like oh god i gotta go to the emergency room like he can't eat food and uh this sucks and then they were like yeah sorry and i was like Ugh! so it was um so if around january 13th you saw this dude kind of crying and walking aimlessly around vancouver that was me oh. i'm not a psycho well a little bit but <laughs> i had valid excuses for that day yeah. so yeah but trent trent on the other hand is not like a dog guy he's like get that thing out of here what is that does that thing work kind of thing so yeah, that's definitely a character flaw. You guys had obviously many dogs portraying the one dog because right. you have to kind of rotate them out. What was it like working with each of the dogs? And did you get a chance to kind of see each of their personalities and what dog works better for what scene? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So th there was there was multiple dogs, but there's really only two that they used. There was like okay. two main, uh, Hammer and Obi. It was funny because Hammer's like- Yeah, yeah, yeah that's funny. <laughs> Yeah, it was funny when everyone called Hammer because like what? <laughs> I have this crew, I have this crew called the T Squad, which is like my 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 pump up dudes, my guys who are with me on everything. And one of them who got hired is a good friend of mine, Tristan. Oh, that's and so cool. He knows me as Hammer, and and that's what he calls me. And so when the doc came out, everyone's yelling that we were always like, oh yeah, like that, yeah okay yeah yeah what's up? Nope, great. Right. Uh, I don't get the treat. No, nope, it's for him. Okay. Hammer treat time. Yeah. Oh, sweet treat. Yes. Gummy. <laughs> um, so Hammer and Obi were the two the two main ones, and so Hammer was the dog best for when you're hunting or, or or tracking somebody, like walking down the street and pulling and doing that whole thing. And then Obi was the kind of the office dog. He was better at the commands and sitting and drooling on Kim. Actually, they're both really good drooling. at drooling. <laughs> Oh my god. Hey, by the way, for that, like when I saw the movie, I thought, you know, that's like movie practical effects, the slobber and stuff like that. Right. It's not. It's not they're actually doing it. That's legit 
slobber and it is impressive and disgusting yeah i bet they did a good job with the dog though because it looks like so much like the original oh man and so sweet too those dogs they're so sweet they're cute Uh, they're great now you got to do some stunt work on the set um how did you prepare for that what was that like well that was really cool yeah uh well one one of them was like uh i get like my i don't know if i I don't think I'm spoiling anything. Eh, whatever. So my character gets like, I step in a thing and I get whipped upside down. I'm like hanging from a a thing. And I saw like the stunt practice of it. I'm like, uh, am I doing that? They're like, no, no, your stunt guy's going to do that. You're just going to hang upside down and do the rest of the stuff. I'm like, okay, you know what? I'm like, I don't, I'm not out here trying to be Tom Cruise. You know, I, I don't need to break anything while, while doing stuff. You can do that stuff. And so for that one, I was hanging upside down and which is funny because we had to do it. We couldn't do it too long because you hang upside down, you get really dizzy really quick. Yeah. And so I have to like hang upside down, say a couple lines and I like bring myself up to cut myself down. And that's when I stop. And then the stunt guy takes back over in the show. And then I had a, um, I had a fight scene, which in the script was like three lines. It's like a guy kicks me, I body check him. He cuts me the knife I'm like oh that'd be cool it's kind of a fun thing to do but you know stunt directors see like any kind of fight they're like oh we're gonna make a meal out of this and so i was shooting one day and they go hey matt at lunch well, we want to show you what we're gonna do on um, in a couple days so we can you can rehearse and practice it <laughs> and then i saw the how, the how they did it. it was like this huge elaborate fight scene with kicking and falling and knives and blocking and flipping and guys smashing tables and i'm like what? Am I gonna do that? <laughs> but it becomes kind of easier when like it, it's just like a learn it in pieces kind of thing. So you practice it. And I was like, I was so jacked to do it. By the time it had come with to do the thing, I was like, okay, cool. I got it dialed. This is gonna be sweet. Um, and the first the first take, we're sh- we're shooting it in pieces. So the first take, he kicks me in the chest. No, he kicks my gun away, spin and you're supposed to kick me in the chest so i pull my gun he kicks me my thing but because you know i'm not a practice stunt dude right uh, i got a little lower than i should have and so he turned around and roundhouse me and kicked me right oh, in the no. yeah and then but i stayed in it i hit the ground i kind of got back up and he yelled cut and i went <laughs> ah, ah. <laughs> and so hey, actually you know what i got a photo of it you're like where's the medic i need the medic asap yeah. <laughs> But uh, but after that, I kind of dialed in. So Skyler was my stunt dude on it. What up, Skyler? And he was he was awesome. So he did like the for the fight scene from the from the distance, and then up close, I did this the thing up close. Um, and I was like like growing up, I loved Bruce Willis action. Like you know oh my I mean? gosh, yeah. Uh-huh. Like, I loved like cop movies and and action movies, and so. I was so stoked to do it. And I learned really quickly. It's not as glamorous as you think it is. Right, right. Like, after like 45 minutes, my head was hurting. <laughs> like I had to keep, keep changing my shirt because I was sweating through my shirt. Oh my gosh. He got you right in the nose. Right in the face. I can't believe you got a shot of that. That's actually kind of cool that you got that shot. Yeah. Well, they stayed. <laughs> They gave me a video of it, or someone recorded it, so I don't know if I can show you that. So I, I took a freeze frame of it, but it's pretty funny. Like, I get drilled in the face, and I was like, oh, okay, yeah, right. You gotta know, you gotta be on top of the stunt game a little bit. You're like, but yeah, anyway. this is real. This is actually yeah. happening right now. <laughs> to, make, to make a short answer extremely long, it was really fun doing stunts. I would, I'm not interested in doing it full time. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not interested in hanging off a plane like Tom Cruise or going, oh, sorry, I swore. Um, or going into space like Tom Cruise, like he's a lunatic, but right. those movies are cool, so. I mean, it looks good, but you can also have a stunt double to do yeah. the same thing for you. I'm in for the stunt double. Like I was watching, I, watched, I was re-watching Speed the other day with Keanu Reeves. So good. And like, oh, the movie's awesome. And so, and so like the scene where he jumps from the car to the bus. Yeah. Like I always think of it like in stunts now, I'm like, yeah, definitely would do stunt there. Stunt guy yeah. would be, stunt guy would do that. Yeah. Stunt guy would do that. Anything with heights too, I'm like, nope, not gonna do it. Not hanging anywhere. Nope. Mm-hmm. No. Yeah, I'm yeah, I'm yeah. kind of 
kind of <clears throat> famously like freaked out by heights. Yeah. Although I live on the thirty second floor of a in my patio, <laughs> or whatever. But like I like I I'm freaked out to the point where I still will like I'll go on like the freaky roller coasters. Yeah. But it, like if like it freaks me out. My buddies always make me go at the front because I know I go nuts. But like. But I still do it, even though it freaks me out, and I get the like stomach thing, and it's like, oh, and I grip the front of yes. the. Like that. <laughs> I don't know if you're like me though, but I feel like once the thing comes on, you feel like you're more secure because there's something there. <laughs> yeah, it, I mean, it helps, but in the back of my mind, I'm always like, what happens if it breaks open? What happens? <laughs> what happens? <laughs> like I'm always thinking that, so I'm like, just hold on, just hold on. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, what other stories can you tell us from the set? Well, there wasn't, I mean, because we shot it in COVID, it was kind of hard to. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Hard to do stuff. We, we, we didn't get a wrap party. We had one <clears throat> actually booked at my friend's restaurant here in Vancouver. Just like a small thing during COVID, but then the net, that latest spike and shutdown happened. And so yeah, it was just kind of like, ah, you can't really, couldn't really do much. Like me, me and a couple of guys hung out a couple of times. Anthony and uh and Brandon and stuff like that but it was just yeah it was it was kind of tricky because you know mm -hmm. Josh was up here with his family Lindsay had her family up here and so Josh would you know he he was in all, like every day right he needed to get his weekends off and like his like remember at one point we're shooting outside and he's kind of like tired and we're tracking the dog and like here his hands his hands are all calloused up because these dogs are like they're strong like 150 oh, yeah. pounds and so I, like you know i'm like here i'll hold him in between takes so you know you get you get a break mm -hmm. so I, I just grabbed it with one hand and hammer god bless his soul <laughs> shoulder out like, wow. oh, yeah. these dogs require two two hands two hands you get something or smell something he's like, oh what's that it's like, oh yeah right you're an enormous dog my my stuff with josh and with brandon actually anthony too like they really encourage a lot of improv on set Mm -hmm. and so it was it was really fun and josh is always the dude who cracks first like he he's the worst but he's so good at improving. like he's really good at bouncing back and so we had a lot of days where it was just like us like you know doing the yeah <laughs> and it's like that over and over again and then uh -huh. at one point is there's a scene with me brandon and josh and we could like we couldn't get it because Josh, Josh kept coming into the scene, already <laughs> laughing, and it was our coverage, and we're like, "Come on, man, right? here. Uh, that, that was that was a lot of fun. The show was really fun all the time. This is the first time I've been, because uh, our days were usually really long. I learned early shooting with dogs. There's no like, it's not like, oh, I should be off in a couple hours. <laughs> Actually, that's going to be more like ten. Yeah. You just kind of get in the mindset, okay, I'm going to be here for 10, 12 hours. Mm -hmm. And, but everyone was so fun and it was always, it was never a chore to be at work, which sometimes can be like that in film because it's yeah. long and it's hard to make movies and TV shows. Mm -hmm. This was a unique thing and there was no like dicks on set. Like no one had an ego or an attitude. Everyone was kind of pulling in the same direction, which is really rare. And, uh, yeah, it was, it was a lot of fun. It was really a lot of fun. That's so good. It makes it such a better atmosphere when everyone's getting along and having fun and can yeah. do on set. That's, that makes it so much more fun and enjoyable. Yeah. Like yeah. yeah. Um, what else are you doing um, in your spare time? Obviously, it's still kind of COVID, but, you know, what else do you like to do for fun? Well, for fun, softball season just started up. I like Ooh. playing softball. Yeah. Nice. Uh, like beer league, co-ed beer league kind of thing. Yeah that for like 10 years in this league in Vancouver and it's it's one of these leagues that's we only play Sundays okay we play fields and so every team kind of hangs out and they do barbecues and our league is a big uh is a big um advocate for the the Make-A-Wish Foundation awesome and so wow we, we put on uh, a, a ball tournament every year which we haven't done the last two years actually and so over the last like whatever five or ten years we've raised like a million dollars so every team does their own kind of kind of thing for it. And it's uh it, it it's really cool to like A, hang out with a bunch of people that are a lot of fun, and then everyone works together for like a really cool goal. Like at this tournament, the they always bring like a wish kid to 
to talk to the group, which is always mm-hmm. everyone gets like, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, we talk yeah. about like you know, what it meant to them or what they're going to do with their wish or if they've already had their wish and stuff like that. And it's and it and it's it's really something that it goes a long way, like where you can like hang out, drink beer, play softball, and have fun. But at the same time, we can help you know, a kid who's had a brutal hand dealt to him, you know, and sometimes they don't make it through. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So that wish, that wish really goes a long way. Oh. And so our softball team and a, lo- a lot in the league have been really dedicated into in doing different kind of fundraisers, like playing hockey games and poker nights and uh, doing margaritas and at the field and like things like that, like cook-offs and whatever. So I like doing that softball. And then, um, I, I live in Vancouver, kind of down across from the beach. Oh, nice. Yeah. And so I've been doing a lot of uh, biking around Stanley Park and doing all that kind of thing because it's, it's a, you know, it's a good workout, but also it's just beautiful. Just, beautiful. There's just, you're oh. all right along the ocean and it just, it's 10 clicks. So I've been, I've been doing that a lot. And uh, what else? I mean, I love movies and TV shows, so I watch a ton of stuff. What are you binging right now? Right now I'm watching Bosch. Oh, okay. Prime. Okay. It's a, so it's one of these ones I kind of chucked on while I, was, I like to watch something while I'm working out, usually like an action show or mm-hmm. something I don't pay too much attention to. And Bosch is cool. It's like, it's not like, it's not like a, you know, win awards or it's not, but it's like reliable, steady. It's a totally. cool pop thing and it's good. It's good. Absolutely. Well, that leads me to having everybody watch your show, your series coming up on Disney Plus. Yeah. Everybody, make sure to go check out Matt Hamilton on Disney Plus. Thank you so much, Matt, for talking with us today. Thank you for having me. It was my pleasure. Awesome. We'll talk soon. Bye-bye. Okay, bye.